The countdown to Halloween has begun, so let's dive into some spooky geology. We're starting off in Niigata, Japan, a city built on soft reclaimed deltaic land at the mouth of the Shinano River. The date, June the 16th, 1964, early summer just after 1pm. Without warning, a magnitude 7.5 earthquake struck offshore in the Sea of Japan. For the first few seconds, it was ordinary shaking. Then something far stranger happened. Sand and water shot out the ground like geysers. Massive apartment blocks began to lean and sink and bridges crumpled as if the earth itself had turned to liquid. What happened beneath Niigata that day is now textbook geology. The city was built over unconsolidated Holocene sand layers. Young river and coastal deposits only a few meters below the surface. These sands were loose, saturated and poorly compacted. The ground table was just one to two meters deep. And to make things worse, much of Niigata's expansion had been built on reclaimed land. Old river channels and former wetlands filled and flattened for construction. And this was the nail in the coffin that caused those buildings to sink. See, when the earthquakes passed through, the shaking increased the poor water pressure between those loose sand grains. Once that pressure rose high enough, the grains lost contact with each other. This essentially made the soil lose all effective strength. In seconds, the ground liquefied. To give you an example, just check out these videos of what liquid sand looks like when that strength disappears. The buildings didn't fall because they broke, they fell because the ground beneath them literally started to flow away. The famous Kawagishi Cho apartment blocks were founded on these young deltaic sands and as the soil turned to slurry, one block settled around 1.5 meters while the other tilted more than 10 degrees. And the crazy thing was after the earthquake stopped, the strength came back and these buildings got frozen in place. It wasn't just buildings, even bridges collapsed under the movement of this liquefied ground. This was a city that was left permanently deformed, roads warped, buildings skewed, a ghostly reminder of how fragile, solid ground can be. Liquefraction became one of the biggest lessons of modern earthquake engineering, proof that it's not just buildings that fall, sometimes the ground itself is the weakest link. Happy spooky month. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I can't wait to share the next spooky story.